Last year, I made a Ladakh parody on the bad roads of Mumbai, riding through the potholes and experiencing the exact same adventure right outside my house. बहुत ही ज़्यादा adventure, मज़े आ गया adventure, very much adventure. And after living with the potholes, making hours of content on them, naming them. Here's Ramesh, here's Pakya, here's Charan, and making them my friends. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Little did I know that BMC will suddenly kill all of them. and build good roads there has been work happening on this road where will i get my content from now with nothing left to live for in mumbai i decided to get out in search of my beloved ramesh pakanchar just come out dude just come out already i'm missing my content and this year there's nothing there's nothing to parody upon what do i do do i have to actually go to ladakh and thanks to hundreds of comments and my craving to hum the planet there was only one place left to go ladakh for real this time for the craziest terrain on the planet i obviously needed the craziest machine and what better option than the mighty royal enfield himal shortly after i flew to delhi and began my ride to ladakh with pumping enthusiasm and loads and loads of wind noise yep my bike adapter decided to stop working on the best ride of my lifetime paisa barbaad pe this is just the beginning okay well the story doesn't begin here to be very honest with you Yes. All right. Let me check if there's anything in the bathroom. I'm very happy to forgetting things. ये लड़का बहुत ही मेहनत कर रहा है. Please इस वीडियो को भागल कर दो. Let's go, buddy. Here, here, here. I do not have to carry any straps or anything, right? Here, you check the room, right? Nothing is left. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are still eating. Will I enter? I'll go out. I'll go out. I'll go out. I'll go to the other side. I'm already sweaty. That's my friend Kochi Machan, and that's him pointing out at me and talking about me. Anyway, we are leaving uh, Hotel Lalit in Chandigarh and now heading towards Manali. Let's see how it goes. For a change, I'm on time. So that's good. All righty. This thing has gotten loose. How? Oh. oh. Did I break it or something? I may have broken it. Well done. Well, start of the ride is beautiful. Yep, I broke it. Sweet. Well, I did not expect to you you to give up on me so quickly. A little squeeze and you're done. Anyway, today is a good start. Uh, the weather is good. Uh, it just rained, so it's cool, and it's sunny, so it's great. I don't mind if it rains as well because I'm pro properly prepared for it. We need to refuel, and that is why we need to take a U-turn from here. All of these guys want to refuel. Cool. So that's gonna be. That's gonna take a time. Take some time. So it's good that I've got enough time to remount my mount. Okay, where do we enter from? That was awkward. <laughs> All right, I'll fuel up and see you guys. A few moments later. Oh, okay. So as you already know, uh, I the the mic f***ed up. Actually, not the mic. The mic adapter f***ed up. And all I could record was just wind noise. <laughs> My journey started from Delhi yesterday, and uh, from Delhi to Chandigarh is what we rode yesterday. Post which we were we checked in. Here and now we are headed towards Manali. So yeah, that's enough heads up or summary of the video so far. Also, I'm hoping that this new mic adapter uh, is working because I very like yesterday night I very urgently ordered this, ordered as in locally ordered this, 
<laughs> and I was very <laughs> skeptical about it but then uh, I checked it out and it worked I don't know how is, is it actually gonna work through the ride or not well it costs a bomb so yeah what do we do okay after a very frustrating break because I I don't know what's wrong with the GoPro it's just suddenly start stopped recording and wasn't ready to boot up with battery there I don't know it just pulls some stunts on me all the time we are now on the beginning of our way to Manali the location was absolutely scenic so far but I couldn't record it sadly so well what do you do that's life this is Mr. Kochi Machan a very very beautiful creator <laughs> and I'll be and my rider partner for today and for the ride throughout so yeah super excited and super stoked for this ride yesterday was a blunder I couldn't really use the footage also yeah I've got this little thing over here which I hopefully will be using through the ride let's see how this performs okay it's in video mode cool hi there hi hello who are you what is this slider I have no idea I am noob how do I start recording maybe it is this and it has started recording am I recording here yes audio sync two three sorry cool cool this guy has come all the way from Singapore and you realize how passionate people are to riding towards Himalayas and lay. A special shout out to Brian that goes by the name Foodie Adventurer Rider on Instagram. Apart from coming all the way from Singapore, this man is a true enthusiast and at the age of more than 60 he still has the motivation and energy to ride, travel and explore. He was one of the most entertaining riders in the group. Please do check his Instagram out and show him some love back to the video all right then we are good to go everything is tight enough now the roads are going to be scenic all over guys I hope I'm visible from here <laughs> that's our support crew car that's going to be all along with us all right here we go Yep, well, it's just the <laughs> difference of devices. He's also doing the same thing as we, but we are more attentive on the road. Well, that comes with the privilege. I'm not gonna comment. Oh, look at that. This is just the beginning, okay? This is literally just the beginning of this ride. Wow. The weather is just beautiful, man, beautiful. It rained the perfect amount, okay? It rained the perfect amount in the mo in the, during the night, the entire night and then now it's like, the, it has, the nature has just cooled everything for us and now it's, it's just beautifully cruising through. Oh man, how fortunate do I feel. And I've got my, uh, if you guys can see it, this is my uh, tail bag which has been giving me some good quality lumbar support so I can nicely chill and relax. Of course, I shouldn't be uh, relaxing too much, otherwise I'll fall asleep on the wheel or uh, on the handlebar, rather. <laughs> this is the Royal Enfield Himalayan Odyssey Group A crew car. And this has got all of the cameramen and uh, support crew with anything you need. Uh, also doctors, there's medical team, there's camera team, there's mechanics. Uh, everything that you can ask for during your ride, it's all at our disposal uh, at, on this ride. We just need to make sure to stay with the group, to stay with the pack and that's it, nothing else and enjoy the ride. A little tricky with creators like me because we take our own time uh, switching the batteries, doing all of the business. But all in all, it's pretty, pretty handy and convenient. I like it. Wow, look at that. Now to give you guys context of how did I end up coming here. For, for my subscribers and who guys watch my videos uh, pretty consistently, know that I've been posting a few things uh, lately about me going to Ladakh. I also put a, a, a poll uh, of what I should be doing next, what you guys want me to do. 
uh, in the coming future. Many of you obviously commented saying Lada, and then I put a poll, post that, and uh, you guys voted Lada the most. Yeah, about 80, 82 percent, right? So, uh, well, the story doesn't begin here. To be very honest with you, the story begins about one month ago. What? 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 Kajab to be my Now, I hate to break it to you. Uh, you guys must be thinking that I, based on that poll, is when I decided whether I should go to Ladakh. I'm sorry, but that's not the case. <laughs> Don't feel scammed. It is just that such things re require a lot of what happened. What happened? Well, they've asked us to leave, so there's nothing to be concerned about. Anywho, let's ask him what's happening. Fall. Okay, already managed to fall. Okay, I hope that guy is fine. He's got enough support. So anyway, how could he manage? To okay, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not judging. So um, yeah, all of this has been happening since a while. It's not like uh, I, I put a poll on on YouTube asking where what should i be doing next and then you guys telling me ladakh then i make a poll about that and uh, then yeah i pick my bags up and leave <laughs> i mean i would, would love to do that but um, so um, this actually began when royal enfield reached out to me last month asking whether i uh, i'm interested in riding to ladakh and i was like no is that a question but then i realized that i have a full-time job that pays me and uh, picking my bags up and leaving like that obviously wouldn't make sense. Not to it would make sense to me, but not for my <laughs> boss and my office. So first, I had to like figure out leaves um, uh, at my job, and that took about 15, 20 days. Yeah, I where I work, it's a little. There's a there, there are bigger commitments. That's why. Uh, we need to be very mindful of what leaps we take and especially when it's such huge uh, interval of about 28 plus days It's obviously going to be a little taxing towards others in the office. So yeah, it, uh, shout out to my office and my boss and my colleagues To letting me do this. Look at this. I'll continue my story in a while. I'll see what's up with these people. Let's see. Who fell? Of course you were with me so you wouldn't know. Um, the little mishap that happened um, a few minutes ago. The guy apparently uh, fell because he probably fell asleep while riding. I don't know how but he may have or may he may have lost control or something but that was on a curve which is quite obvious but he maybe couldn't judge the curve and then he hit the divider and then fell his bike is completely damaged apparently and he also broke his hand which is very sad now the medical team has arrived and they're going to take him to the nearest hospital treat him and then send him back to Chandigarh after which he'll be, I don't know, treated or whatever, sent home or something. His bike is, uh, you know, in a critical condition, which is, which is uh, not, which doesn't really matter because as long as he's fine and he's not that seriously injured, of course, uh, he's broken his hand, so that's pretty serious. It's not a, just a scratch, but uh, it's good that he is, it's good that he's in a good condition. He, is, he can speak, he can talk. It's just that he's in the pain and uh, a minor fracture can be recovered so. so a bit of a bummer but it's okay as long as he's fine and uh, of course we shouldn't be letting that demotivate us what's happening missiles like these happen and uh, that's why it's very necessary even if the road is completely empty it is very very necessary to you know, pay attention on the road and not be insouciant. A call, back, a call back to my earlier video. 
and it's very easy to get distracted with such beauty around you so it's even more necessary to be attentive on the roads at such locations as beautiful as these these locations look they are as risky they are risky the same amount so you need to have your eyes open and wide for everything that is coming for you but having said that um, let's just move on from that i'm pretty sure that guy is going to be fine and uh, safe because the medical team and the the crew team everyone are there just to just to help you they are there for us to help us there are going to be no issues regarding that bonus oh 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 yaar so please sab sab kar sara khabar sabara karai sara sara kab whatever please sab sara uh, i want to reach 1 million likes so please sara sabara sara pakara sara pakara sara pakara Sarapakarai, sarapakarai, yes, yes.